Hi guys, welcome back to Metabox tutorial. Today, we're going to create custom post types and custom taxonomy with Metabox. To do it, you just need to install MB custom post types and custom taxonomies plugin from wordpress.org. It can run independently without Metabox core plugin. In my case, I just install MB custom post types and custom taxonomies so after activating it, there is a new menu on the dashboard like this. If you activate it within Metabox core plugin, you will have the custom post types and taxonomies sub menu inside the Metabox menu like this. Now, let's start with a new custom post type. Visit here. This page has the list of custom post types you create, but you haven't created any so it's now blank. To add a new custom post type, click new post type. Then, just fill in the plural and singular name. The slug is auto-generated. You can change it as you want. In the label tab, you can set up the labels of the post type. Like the slug, all of them are already auto-generated. In the advanced tab, there are a lot of options. They're explained clearly. If you tick the hierarchical, you can create the parent post type and its sub post type. This helps you hide this post type from the search result in your site. Tick to publicly queryable to allow getting all the post types data and displaying it on the website. Tick to show UI to display the post type section as a menu on the left sidebar in the dashboard. When you enable it, you can select the position for the post type menu you want. Select an icon for the post type. Show in nav menus means you can show your post type section in this menu. And you can show the post type as a menu in the admin bar here. Also, you can disable Gutenberg for the post type by unticking here. And if you want, enter REST API base slug to get the data of the post type via API. Here is where you apply the capability type like post, page, or custom capability for the post you create in this post type. For example, I choose the post capability type. In the support tab, you can choose the features for the post type. These are the features that are set in default and you can choose more features by checking these boxes. In the taxonomy tab, select the taxonomies for the post type. In default, there are tag, category, and format. In case you want to have more custom taxonomies, you can create new ones. I will show you how to do it in the next part of this video. They will also appear here for you to choose from. Finally, publish, and do you see the new post type here? Now. I'm creating a new post for the post type I've just created and have some content for it. Very easy, right? Okay, let's move on to create a new custom taxonomy. It's quite similar to creating a custom post type. Enter the plural, singular name, and it auto creates the slug. Or you can change the slug like what I'm doing. The label options are also automated. In the advanced tab, some options are similar to the advanced tab when creating a post type. But there are some special options like, this allows you to show the taxonomy in hierarchical like this. That helps you select the needed term easily, especially when you have a lot of terms and taxonomies. Otherwise, you have to type the terms you need like this. It's quite inconvenient, do you think so? This allows you to show it here. This allows you to show the taxonomy here. If you enable this hierarchical URL, the URL of your taxonomy will include the parent taxonomy. For example, in my case, the parent taxonomy of the sub-blog taxonomy is blog. If I disable this option, the URL will be like this. Pay attention to the post type tab and select the post type where you want to show this taxonomy. I'll choose the project post type I've just created, publish it, and here, the type taxonomy appears in the project post type. I will create some terms for this taxonomy. It's just as simple as you create a new category in WordPress. And now in a post of the project post type, you can choose the type of the taxonomy you want here. If you want to create custom fields for your post types like this, try Metabox plugin. So. We've done creating new custom post types and custom taxonomies with MB custom post types and custom taxonomies. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe to our channel to have more tutorials. Bye.